One of the major tools you will use throughout your Bio 1 career is the mass balance equation. The mass balance equation allows you to make dilutions. Let's say I have 950 milliliters of a 3% solution of chemical X and I need to make 10 milliliters of a 1% solution of chemical X. In order to make this dilution, I need to use the mass balance equation. The mass balance equation is C1 times E1 equals C2 times V2. Don't let this confuse you. C1 is the concentration of the stock solution that you are given. V1 is the amount, the volume of stock solution you will need. C2 is the concentration that you need to make, and V2 is the volume that you need to make. We will also then calculate the volume of distilled water that we need to complete the dilution. So, in our example, C1, the stock solution, is 3%. What we don't know is how much of it we need. We know we have 950 milliliters, but we don't know how much we actually need to make the dilution. So C1 is 3%, V1 is the unknown variable here. So, we need to figure out what V1 is. So we take the mass balance equation, C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2, and we can then plug in our variables. We know that C1, the, the stock solution, is a 3% concentration. V1 is unknown to us at this time. C2, the concentration of what we're making, is 1%, and we know we need 10 milliliters of that 1% solution. So V2 is 10 ml, 10 milliliters. So what we can do is we can plug those variables into the equation. 3% times V1 equals 1% times 10. And we can drop the units off of the numbers. 3 times V1 equals 1 times 10. So now we simply solve for V1. We set this equation up and solve for V1. And what we find is that V1 is 3.3333333 milliliters. Well, we can only reasonably measure out to about two decimal places with our pipette. So we will measure out 3.33 milliliters of stock solution. So now we have used our pipette and we have measured out 3.33 milliliters of stock solution. But that stock solution is still at 3% concentration. We have not completed our dilution yet. We have to add water to that stock solution in order to dilute it. So how much water do we need to make a 3.3 milliliters of stock solution into 10 milliliters? Well, that should be pretty easy. Your V1, you know we have 3.33 mils, and we need 10. So find the difference between those two numbers. In this case, it's 6.67 milliliters of water. That is the volume of distilled water. That is the amount of water that you need to measure out and then add to the stock solution. So we add water to the stock solution to our 3.33 mils of stock. So we're going to combine the two together. And now we have made our dilution. We now have 10 milliliters of a 1% solution. The mass balance equation may seem complicated at first, but it's really quite simple. You have a stock solution, and you have to make a dilution from it. You're going to add water to that stock solution to make your dilution. So you need to figure out how much stock solution you need and how much water you need to make the dilution that's required for your experiment.